Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back to the lectures on engineering mathematics 1 and uh, this is lecture number 22 and we will continue our discussion on integral calculus so in particular improper integrals uh, of type 1 and today we will be talking about the convergence of uh, type 1 integrals. In the last lecture we have seen how to evaluate those integrals or the integrals of uh, type 1 and with the basis of the evaluation indeed we can conclude whether the integral converges or it diverges. But uh, today we will be uh, talking about some uh, test based on which we can conclude that the integral converges uh, or diverges without evaluating the integral. So, uh, just to recall in the previous lecture we have uh, discussed this test case which was a to infinity 1 over x power p dx and it converges for p greater than 1 and diverges for p less than equal to 1. So, this test uh, or this uh, uh, test integral will be very useful to compare the integrals with other improper integrals and to conclude the convergence of the underlying integral. So, here again this uh, convergence of this depends on p. So, for all values of p greater than 1 this integral converges and p less than or equal to 1 this integral diverges. So, here we have uh, we will be talking about type 1 integrals uh, again to recall we have this type 1 integral when our f x is bounded for any value of uh, in this range a to b and one of these a and, uh, a and b are infinity. So, or both are so like minus infinity to plus infinity that is also type 1 integral. So, we will be talking about the convergence of such integrals where uh, infinity appears in the in the limit. So, this is a very useful test uh, comparison test uh, it is called comparison test 1. So, here we suppose that f and g are integrable over a range here a to c where the c is greater than or equal to a and there is another relation given that f is uh, taking non negative values and g is taking larger values than uh, the values of f for any value of x greater than a. So, in that case we have this result that if this a to infinity f x d x converges then uh, this will converge if the integral a to infinity g x d x converges. So, here what is this integral? Integral g. Uh, so, g is taking uh, larger values than f. So, in that case if this integral which is uh, the bigger integral in that sense because g is taking larger values. So, we have indeed this relation when we have this g bigger that this integral this g uh, will be having the larger value than this integral f dx dx whatever range we are talking about here like a to infinity and a to infinity if these integral exist naturally in that case uh, we have such a result here. So, if this integral converges if this integral converges because and this is the larger value because g is taking a larger value at any point x uh, greater than a. So, in that case naturally that this integral also converges because if this value exists and this is a smaller than that. So, naturally this also exists. And there is another conclusion which we can conclude out of, out of it that a to infinity g x diverges if this integral diverges. So, if a to infinity f x the smaller integral this diverges. So, naturally we can conclude that the integral over a to infinity of this g will also diverge because uh, this f is taking smaller values at any point x here greater than a and if this integral exists. So, naturally uh, if it does not exist this f with the smaller values then naturally this will also not exist this will also diverge. 
So here we have uh, another test which is called the limit comparison test or the comparison test 2. So this is again a useful uh, test here. So we have this f and g they are integrable over uh, the range a to c for any value of c greater than a and we have again this that f is taking non negative values and g is strictly uh, positive for all values of x greater than a and then we will be talking about when we take this limit x approaches to infinity. So, if we take this limit x approaches to infinity f x over g x f x over g x we have two functions we are uh, actually getting this behavior uh, that uh, when x approaches to infinity of this ratio of the two functions and if it comes to be just a k and non zero number in that case we can conclude from here that the behavior of this f and g is, is uh, similar when x approaches to infinity because we are getting some constant there. So, uh, regarding to these integrals where we have a to infinity f x d x the type 1 integral and this they will con converge or diverge together because of this reason here we have the problem when x approaches to infinity and what we have observed that this f x and g x they behave uh, similarly uh, as x goes to infinity and in that case we can easily conclude that so this integral a to infinity f x d x or this integral a to infinity g x d x either both will converge or both will diverge when we get this limit as k non zero number. So, we are not uh, proving all these results, but uh, intuition, uh, uh, but by intuition we can see all these results that they hold uh, uh, here for example. So, again uh, as I said here this uh, behavior of both the functions uh, is same as x approaches to infinity and in that case we can conclude easily that if this converges the other one will also converge and if this converges, this was also converge. And this is going to be very useful because for a given integral suppose this f x is given we will construct a g whose uh, behavior is known or the, the integral over this g is, is known whether it converges or diverges and based on the uh, behavior of this integral we can easily conclude the, the convergence of the other integral. Further what will happen if this k is 0 for example, k is 0 means that this is converging faster to infinity than this one than this function then only this will dominate here the g will dominate and then x goes to infinity this will go to 0. So, in this case here g is a dominating function that therefore, we will get this k 0 and in this case if this g uh, integral converges. So, we have this function which is uh, dominating as x approaches to infinity uh, then this f x and if this converges then naturally the other integral uh, will also converge. So, that is again a uh, simple. So, because this limit is coming to be 0 as x approaches to infinity. So, here the g is uh, growing faster than f uh, as x approaching to infinity. So, this is approaching to infinity faster than this one and therefore, we are getting this limit 0 there. So, this is a uh, and that is the reason here if this g converges. So, the f will also converge and again in the other way around if this k is infinity here. So, if this is approaching to infinity uh, in the limiting case this ratio. So, in that case this f is dominating and then if we we can conclude that if g diverges. So, if we have the result that this g diverges. So, we can uh, tell something about the integral f which will also diverge because this g uh, the f is a dominating function. So, it is taking uh, it is growing much faster than this one and that is the reason we are getting infinity there. So, in that case this uh, integral f will also diverge. So, these are the simple comparison tests which we have discussed and now we will go for some uh, problems example problems. So, for example, this we will test now the convergence of this integral 1 to infinity d x over x and square root x square plus 1. 
So we have to here now uh, actually find another function which we can uh, relate or which is comparable uh, to or similar to this as x approaches to infinity again we have the problem at infinity only that is what we are talking about these improper integrals. So, here we will see that how this function is behaving as x approaches to infinity. So, basically what usually we do here, so we take x and here also we will take x common. So, we have then the 1 plus 1 over x square. So, this term will, will just approach to 1 as x approaches to infinity. So, will not create any trouble and now we have here x square. So, 1 over x square. So, this function here the given function the integrand is behaving as 1 over x square uh, behaves as x goes to infinity and that will help us to set uh, the functions for comparison. So, we have this f which is the integrand 1 over x uh, square root x square plus 1 and we will take g as 1 over x square because the behavior of this function is like 1 over x square. So, we have taken the second function g 1 over x square and which is well which is well known for us about this integral properties of this function. So, here if we take this limit now f x over g x. So, if we compute this limit. So, this is uh, uh, because this g x is 1 over x square. So, if we have 1 over x square here. So, this x will cancel out there for x square. So, we will get x over square root x square plus 1 and this limit will be. Uh, so, again we can cancel this x also. So, we will take common from here we have 1 plus 1 over x square. So, this will get cancelled and when we take the limit as x goes to infinity. So, here it will be 1. So, we have this limit as 1 which is not equal to 0. So, if this is not equal to 0 our comparison test 2 tells that uh, this integral uh, the given integral will behave as the integral of this g similarly. So, we have already the result for this integral g and remember this 1 over x square over this 1 to infinity. So, this integral here uh, uh, 1 over so 1 to infinity and we have taken here 1 over x square and dx this integral converges that we know from that test integral. So, if this converges and this ratio is coming to be 1 as constant. So, in that case the other integral will also uh, converge. So, as this converges this will imply that the given integral g x over x square root x square plus 1 will also converge. So, here the main point is that we have to look for uh, uh, the behavior of this integrand as x approaches to infinity how this behaves in terms of the simple function 1 over x power p type function and then we can uh, easily get this limit in this case it is like non 0. So, 1 and then we can conclude that this converges. So, this will also converge. Well, so the next uh, problem we will test the convergence of this integral 1 to infinity and we have x square divided by x power 5 uh, plus 1 dx. So, in this case also we will approach uh, same as before. So, we have this f x x square over square root x 5 plus 1 and then the behavior of this uh, function we will test here. So, we have x square in the numerator and here if we take x power 5 by 2. So, x power 5 and there is square root there. So, 1 plus 1 over x power 5 and then there is a square root here. So, this term will not create any problem whereas, as x approaches to infinity because this will be just uh, a 1 here. So, the behavior will be influenced by these two terms. So, we have 1 over here x power 5 by 2 and then minus 2 and this term is square root which is not creating any trouble as x approaches to infinity and this one here. So, this is behaving like 1 over x power uh, 1 by uh, it is a 4. Uh, so, 5 minus 4 by 2. So, 1 by 2. So, square root x. So, 1 over square root x. So, this is behaving like 1 over square root x as x approaches to uh, infinity. So, based on this now we can select the function we can choose the function uh, 
g so g we have taken 1 over uh, square root x and now in this case we will take again this limit f x over g x. So, this limit here f x over g x will be uh, x square and then the square root x will go there and we have here a square root x power 5 plus 1 and we will take this x power 5 common from here. So, we will have x power 5 by 2 and we have also there x power 5 by 2. So, this limit will be coming as 1. So, again we are getting a non-zero limit here as uh, the ratio of these two functions. So, both the integrals will behave the same. So, in this case we know about this g x integral that this 1 over uh, square root x. So, here the power of x power is half which is less than 1. So, this basically diverges this integral as this was the test integral and we have the divergence whenever this power of this x is uh, less than uh, or equal to 1. So, this integral diverges and since both the integrals will behave the same. So, the integral given in the problem will also diverge by the comparison test. So, this will also diverge. So, we have proved the divergence of this integral again uh, using this comparison test. So, this is again another problem where we will show that this integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx converges. So, in this case we will uh, break this integral as 0 to 1 and e power minus x square dx and plus this 1 to infinity and e power minus x square dx. So, this is the trick very often we use to, uh, to remove this uh, part here 0 to 1 because this is a proper integral. So, this is uh, not bothering us now. So, this is proper integral that means we have the value of this finite value of this integral. Now, we will discuss only this integral here. So, if it is a convergent integral then everything will converge. If it diverges naturally the given integral will diverge. So, here now to apply the comparison test what we observe now that this e power x square if we expand this one. So, we have 1 plus x square plus x power 4 over factorial 2 and so on. This is the expansion and this uh, will be greater than uh, always greater than x square term. So, we have all these positive term whether x is strictly positive. So, 4 over x greater than 0 or x less than 0 this term is going to be larger than this x square term because x square term uh, already sits here. In fact, x is equal to 0 also. So, for all x this is uh, this is true now. So, 1 plus x square this will be larger than this one because this is exactly the same term we have taken here and all other are positive terms. So, in any case this for, for all x uh, this uh, equality uh, this inequality will hold and uh, now, what we will do here? So, this we have the result now that e power x square is greater than x square. So, what we can we can uh, invert it. So, we have e power minus x square and then inequality will be changed here and 1 over x square. So, we are not uh, taking here x is equal to 0. Indeed, in our problem now x is larger than 1. So, this is naturally true for x larger than 1. So, we have this result that e power minus x square our integrand here is less than 1 over x square term. And we also know the test integral that this test integral 1 to infinity uh, 1 over this x square dx that this converges. So, this converges and then by this comparison test because uh, this function here 1 over x square is taking larger values than e power minus x square and this integral which is uh, dominating integral this converges. So, naturally this one will also. So, this will imply that this integral 1 to infinity e power minus x square dx also converges. And now this integral converges and also this is a proper integral which converges. So, the given integral here it will converge. So, this converges which we want to show. So, this was easy by handling in this way that we have uh, taken these two, two integrals into consideration. The idea was because if x uh, 
is greater than 1 we can easily in fact is not equal to 0 we can just uh, revert it here 1 over x square and by breaking to 2 integrals that helped because the first one was the proper one and now we have x greater than 1 anyway. So, it converges and then both the the sum converges and the original the given integral converges. So, now we will take one more example. So, show that this integral 0 to infinity sin square x square uh, dx converges. So, in this case we will also deal this because at x is equal to 0 we have this uh, problem here with, with x. So, let us just break again this 0 to 1 and then sin uh, square x over x square dx and plus then here 1 to uh, infinity the rest uh, sin square x over x square dx. And this the first integral here is a proper integral we have discussed already in the last lecture because this limit as x approaches to 0 is finite. So, this is a proper integral because that was the only problematic point as x approaching to 0, but this limit is finite and in that case we do not have any any problem in the integrand even when x approaches to 0. So, this is a proper integral. The second one now we will discuss that this also converges and the reason is clear because the integrand which is given here sin square x over this x square, this is always less than equal to 1 over x square and we know that the integral 1 to infinity that test integral 1 over x square dx that also converges. So, here this is a dominating integral because this 1 over x square is taking larger values than the sin square x over x square and this integral converges. So, by comparison test uh, we know that this integral uh, sin square x over this x square dx uh, 0 to uh, infinity will also converge. So, this will also converge based on uh, this test integral which was 1 over x square 1 to infinity dx this converges. So, here this was the dominating integral. So, naturally this will also converge. So, we will take another example now. Here we will show that this integral x uh, 10 inverse x over 1 plus x 4 uh, 1 plus x 4 power 1 by 3 dx diverges. So, now we will show here that this integral diverges. So, let us take this f x the integrand term. Let us assume that this is f x. So, our f x is x and 10 inverse x over 1 plus x 4 and we have here 1 by 3. So, this x we can bring to the denominator. So, 10 inverse x and we have x here and this x 4 also we will take out of this uh, because we want to see the behavior as x approaches to infinity. So, in that case we take this x power 4 by 3 here out this is x power minus 1 this x and then we have again here x power minus uh, 4 plus 1. So, 1 plus x power minus 4 and this 1 by 3. So, as x approaches to infinity this uh, will be 1 and here also x approaches to infinity this will be also a constant term pi by 2. So, mainly the behavior of this we can see by this term here which is uh, x power. So, 1 over x power 1 by 3 or this is x power minus 1 by 3 as x approaches to infinity. So, this function here the integrand behaves as x power 1 minus 1 by 3 when x approaches to uh, infinity. And now, we got this function g x. So, if we take this function as g x is equal to 1 over uh, x cube or x power minus 1 by 3, then we can get that limit. So, the limit as x, x approaches to infinity of this f x over g x function. So, the limit x approaches to infinity the f x was uh, x 10 inverse x and then we have here 1 plus x 4 and then 1 by 3 
and this is g x which is x power minus 1 by 3. So, I can take to the numerator x power 1 by 3. So, now what do we have here? So, this is limit x goes to infinity and there we have x power uh, 4 by 3 and this 10 inverse x and here also we will take this x uh, power 4 by 3 and then we have the same x power minus uh, 4 and this is power 1 by 3. So, as x approaches to infinity this is pi by 2 10 inverse uh, infinity this will be pi by 2 and this will go to 1. So, we got this pi by 2 limit. So, now since this limit is same uh, it is limit is a non zero number. So, now the conclusion is that uh, both the integrals integral over f and integral over g they will behave uh, the same. So, in this case we know that this integral here 0 to so 1 to infinity and this 1 over uh, x power 1 by 3 dx. So, here the p the power is less than 1. So, this integral will uh, diverge. So, diverge. So, this integral will diverge and so the integral over f will also diverge which is given uh, here in the problem. So, this integral diverges because we have uh, compared this with uh, 1 to infinity 1 over x power 1 by 3 dx integral and they both has to diff, uh, has to behave uh, the same because of the reason that they behave their behavior is, is same as x approaches to infinity. Well, so having this now we go to the conclusion now. So, we have seen the two uh, comparison tests. Uh, test number 1 was when we have uh, this relation in f that f is uh, greater than equal to 0 and g is greater than equal to f. And in that case if we know that this g converges this g converges the larger integral which is taking uh, the function taking large values if this converges the other one will also converge and uh, if that diverge the smaller one if that diverges the other one will also diverge. So, the comparison test 2 was uh, again we have this relation. So, it can be strictly equal also because at x approaches to infinity at least this g x should not be 0. So, we have if this value is k and in that case if k is not equal to 0 they both will behave uh, the same and if k comes to be uh, equal to 0 that means this is uh, growing uh, much faster. In that case if this converges the other one will also converge and we have also the result if this k is come infinity and this diverges thus g uh, integral which is the smaller one now this f uh, dominates. So, in that case if this smaller one diverges naturally uh, the, the bigger one will also diverge. So, that was the the conclusion of, of this lecture this comparison test 1 and the comparison test 2. So, these are the references we have used to prepare these lectures and thank you very much.